Hello and welcome back to Veg to Table. Today we are making salsa, a staple here. Yes, I made this recipe for the Super Bowl and it is quite large. This is a party size recipe. I will put the recipe in the description box below, but if you don't want this much, go ahead and have the recipe. I'm starting with on the vine ripe tomatoes. Now I use these just because I feel like they have more freshness into them. But as you can tell, I'm pulling out a bowl because they tend to have way more seeds in them than if you were to use the plum tomatoes, which I have off to the side over there. And the reason for taking the seeds out of these is just because it will make your salsa very liquidy and you just don't want to have that. You want a nice meaty and hearty type of salsa here. So you can go ahead and chop up your on the vine tomatoes and then go ahead and just have a bowl nearby and take the seeds out of them. And then you can go ahead and just chop them up all together and I used half of the ratio of the on the vine and then half of plum tomatoes now you can go ahead and probably use a beef steak tomato for this recipe um, if you see that they have a lot of seeds just go ahead and do the same thing and pull the seeds out off to the side in a bowl I would not recommend using grape tomatoes just because they are very small and very hard to work with and it would probably take a ton of grape tomatoes to make this recipe so go ahead and chop these up and then once you have quite a bit you can go ahead and put it into a very large bowl because you're going to meet, need to mix a lot of ingredients for this one. So go ahead and do that. Okay, once you have all of your tomatoes um, chopped and put into your bowl, go ahead, I have one green pepper here. Go ahead and just cut it all up and dice it really, really small. Um, you can use yellow pepper, you can use red pepper, you can use green pepper, you can use whatever pepper you would like. I did use one green pepper for this recipe and half of a red pepper, just because I like red pepper and that's my favorite. So chop them up really nice and fine if you can. If you don't feel like chopping all of these vegetables, you can go ahead and put them in a food processor and go ahead and chop them that way and it might go a little bit faster okay Okay, so next I'm adding one jalapeno pepper, very tiny. Um, yes, take the seeds out unless you like a lot of heat. I like things pretty mild around here, so I'm gonna go ahead and de-seed mine. And then I'm going to chop that up pretty fine, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put that in to the bowl with the rest of my ingredients. Yes. So now I'm just showing you here that I'm adding my half of red pepper because I like it and I think that it adds pretty color into the rest of my salsa. It's going to make it look like I have lots of stuff going on in there and why not? It tastes absolutely fantastic. So go ahead and chop up your red pepper or your yellow pepper, whatever you prefer. 
And as you can see, I have one of those little scrapey tools just because it makes my life easier and I can scoop everything up way faster. Okay, go ahead and do that. Yes, I'm back and I'm going to add some onion here. Now my onion is quite large, so I'm only gonna add half of that. If you like lots of onion, go for it. Um, I do not like so much onion. So because it was so large, I'm just gonna go ahead and chop it up very fine and add about half of that. And I'm gonna try not to cry while I go ahead and do this. Okay, so once your onion is chopped and in, go ahead and grab some cilantro. Now I have a bundle here that I picked up, which is going to be way too much for this recipe. But go ahead and grab a handful. I'm pretty sure it was mm, about a cup or so. And you're just gonna take it and chop it up. If you like more cilantro, then add more. If you don't like it as much, don't add as much. And if you don't like it at all, well, just leave it all out, I suppose. But go ahead and pull the leaves off of the stems here, and then just go ahead and chop it up very fine. And you could also do this in the food processor as well. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of cheat here and rather than take some garlic out, I'm just going to spoon in some garlic I already had on hand in a jar. Yes, cheating, okay. <laughs> add as much as you'd like and uh, you know, I love garlic so I add quite a bit. Uh, I'm not so big on spice as much as I am flavor. Now I found this red hot which had a chili lime flavor. Go ahead and add some hot sauce at this point and it's really just a matter of preference guys. Um, I'm, I'm sure that this is less than even a quarter of a cup at this point but if you like it very spicy add your favorite hot sauce or you can just use Frank's Red Hot because that's usually what I add but this for some reason had a lime taste to it. So go ahead and do that and add some salt and pepper in there and any other spices that you have maybe on hand that you want to put in there. I'm sure a little cumin wouldn't help and hurt anyone either. Um, So I did end up having some fresh lime on hand, so I just went ahead and added some of that greatness into the rest of my concoction here. Yes, fantastic. So go ahead, if you have fresh lime, go ahead and add it. If you have lime in a bottle, go ahead and add that. And if you don't have any, it's not really that big of a deal. It's totally fine. So mix everything together. Doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? I mean, really, look at all those beautiful colors in there and that cilantro and that garlic, and it just looks absolutely fabulous. Now you can go ahead and serve this up right away. I ended up putting it in the refrigerator for an hour or two just because I had party guests coming over later. And here I am adding more, because obviously, it wasn't enough. And this is the original Red Frank's Red Hot. 
So again, just keep mixing. And this is quite a bit, guys. I mean, this is for a party. I was having people over for the Super Bowl. So go ahead and half this recipe if you don't want that much. But this is good for about a week or two in your refrigerator. And if you have fresh avocados, go ahead and mash those up and add it to that. And voila, it looks beautiful. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram as well.